Some people say COVID, uh, the next wave will come back in July and August. Come on, hey, I believe in my Almighty God. It will never come back. It will go and it will go back to hell from where it came from, and it will be locked in the pit of hell and will never come back ever again. Amen. Hallelujah. Because COVID, whatever pandemic, whatever situation, circumstance is under our feet, God is always in control. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, so Wally, okay, welcome, welcome. Uh, other announcements before we get into the word, okay? Uh, yeah, uh, all right, okay, I also want to let you know that all our sermons are uploaded on our YouTube page. Yes, we have a YouTube page, just search on Word of Life Church JB, right? It will be uploaded every uh, immediately after uh, our services. Be it from church, Saturday nights, or Monday and Wednesdays from our home. Alright, so uh, you can check uh, late into the night, great uh, uploads on our YouTube page. We're also going live on Word of Life Youth on Instagram. Okay, just look for Word of Life Youth. Alright, and you will find uh, our handsome, beautiful young ladies and men. Okay, alright, on, on our youth, well, uh, youth ministry. Okay, praise God. So, Saturday, Monday, Wednesdays, and on. Um, uh, YouTube. Alright, okay. Uh, don't forget also to like and subscribe our page on YouTube. Okay, and of course share. Alright, okay. Amen. Yeah, like, subscribe, and smash, as YouTubers always say, smash the notification bell. Okay, so that you will be notified whenever uh, uh, content is uploaded. Amen. Hallelujah. You can also watch past YouTube videos uh, on our YouTube page. Our love wars with the youth in the past years, okay, um, uh, highly uh, watched, okay. All right, let's keep it going, keep it going, amen. Amen. Okay, now, uh, secondly, let's worship the Lord uh, uh, without giving to. Okay, you can go to the slide, the seventh slide. All right, we want to worship the Lord without giving, amen, okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, for this, I want to really give thanks to God for these past two months. You know, in fact, uh, not just our church, but all the churches, you know, in, in JB, I don't know about other, other places, but in JB, you know, uh, all of our churches have been affected, you know, financially, you know, for two months, okay? You know, uh, and, and, and we want to just encourage you guys, wherever you are, wherever you, wherever you are attending, Continue to support your church financially. Amen. May you continue to be a blessing uh, to your ministries. Okay. And continue to be a blessing to World of Life too. You know. Okay. So that in the new season. Okay. Where God has begun already. You know, right. We will be able. Every church will be able to bounce back. To winning the souls. Winning the lost. Continue to uh, minister to people. Even in this time. I know there are many churches. Many ministries that are helping the, the people that are. Start struggling through this time, right? In 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 food, in, in finance, in support, in so many ways, right? Okay, right. Uh, okay, I forgot one thing. We're not further. We're not going ahead. We're not going for, uh, forward a little bit more. I just want to wish all moms a uh, happy Mother's Yay. Day. All mothers and grandmothers, you are precious in God's sight. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are fearfully made in God's image. Amen. Hallelujah. You are highly favored. You are deeply loved. You are greatly blessed in Amen. God's sight. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless all moms. Later, Pastor Caroline will pray for all of you. Okay. All right. So don't miss her word today. She'll be preaching. Okay. Now back to offering. Don't uh, don't forget to support uh, your churches and also to support God of Life too. Okay. Uh, through your giving. Okay. To offering and tithes, you can do it online. Amen. Okay, uh, the, our bank account is in the description box. All right, or you can look up ahead. It's a public, public bank. Okay, Mahat in Malaysia. The account number is 3184751014. If you are donating, you are giving from overseas. You, you, the SWIFT code will be important to you. It's P B B E M Y K L. All right, all this all this information is in the description box. All right, of all our stream uh, live streams. Okay, or if you're overseas but you don't have an online account or you don't even have a bank account, okay, you can also donate through PayPal. Okay, as long as you have a credit card, you know, as long as you have a financial source, okay, online you can donate through PayPal. 
just uh, type in the email at echo, E-D-K-O-H, 1976 at gmail.com. All right, you don't have to have a PayPal account to do that. You can just uh, uh, do it without uh, an account. All right, okay, so that's for offering and tithes. Let's just pray for the offering and the tithes. Let's pray for the finances of all, not just for the life of all the churches in Singapore, Malaysia, and beyond. Okay, in Sri Lanka too. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Chandana, remember this. It is, it is God that provides. Okay? It is God that supplies. It is God's church. It is God's business. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, we just thank you that you are a faithful giver. You are a faithful supplier. God, that your churches all worldwide will never suffer. God will never suffer lack of God. Because you are the shepherd. You are the one that built the church. And the gates of hell will not prevail. God, and I pray for those that sow into your kingdom to offering and tithes. Father, even through prayer, Father, you will bless them back, oh God. Bountifully, 34, 64, 100 fold, they will be put back into, into their lives, oh God. Hallelujah. Bless them, oh God. I rebuke the devourer. I rebuke the spirit of death and destruction. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak abundance. I speak financial strength, financial uh, health, manage, uh, healthy financial management. I speak it all, a faithful management of finances into everyone's lives, oh God. They will never suffer like the prayer will always be full. Amen. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say and type. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay, alright. Without further ado, okay, I'm not preaching today because God told me Mother's Day must let Pastor Caroline preach. Alright, so I'm, I'm making way for her to preach. She's a woman of God. You know, I told my sons last night, you know, don't simply marry anybody, even though she, she's a Christian. Okay, don't simply marry anyone, even though she's a Christian. Okay, even though if you're a girl, you're, you're looking to who to marry, don't simply marry anyone just because they are Christian. Okay, marry someone who loves the Lord. Marry someone who serves God with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. Amen. I told them if I marry anyone else, I wouldn't be serving God today. I'll be tapping care of them. Okay, right? But because of my wife, she loves God. She's a woman that fears the Lord. Okay, although we argue sometimes about how we approach things. Okay, but we always come back together to agree. You know, somebody once said that uh, if a man is wrong, he should apologize. Okay. You know what? Someone else or someone else once said, if a man, if a husband is, is right, okay, he should apologize still. Why? Because he's called the husband. Amen. <laughs> All right. I think I've got the joke wrong. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's put our hands together. Welcome the woman of God today as she brings the word of God to all of us, dedicated to all our moms. Okay, right through the screen. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together. Woo! Amen. Amen. Send, send all the loves. We can't hear the claps. 
So send all the loves that you can from the Facebook Live. Come on, send all the loves. Woo -hoo -hoo. We love to see the loves going in the Facebook, okay? So, um, you know, during this period of this uh, MCO, uh, by the way, there's only like uh, four of us here, which is uh, Pastor Edwin, Joelle, Jeremy, and myself that is here. So basically, we are just streaming live from the church. So um, I also believe that, um, you know, during this period of MCO, I'm sure that um, each and every one of us have actually learned something, that uh, we received something from the Lord, and God is speaking so evidently like never before. You know, it's a move. It's a move that I would say that, uh, but I'm not saying that God is the creator of the pandemic, no. You know, the pandemic uh, arises from man's lawlessness, sinfulness, yeah? But I would like to say that God can cause uh, all things to turn up for good, for his people, for you. Amen. So um, I believe that during this time, we can also learn a lot of things from this period. And like what I said just now earlier on, God has been speaking so clearly to every one of us, uh, not just myself, to, even to my children. You know, God speaks to the youth. If you are youth, God is speaking to you. Take time, seek Him. God is speaking to you. Yeah. And He is speaking to His children. And I, we've seen, we've seen for this past uh, period of uh, this MCO, um, we see uh, houses, streets are being filled with praise, being filled with worship as unto the Lord. And it's such a beautiful sight to behold, yeah? And, um, and uh, so this, uh, we, are, we are going to come to a close of our movement control order. And I believe it will be lifted up very, very soon. So now the question comes to, um, you know that all our daily activities has come to a stop, adults and children alike. So the questions come is, what will happen? What are the effects of the MCO? You know, whether would I still have my job? Am I able to hold on to my job? Uh, is, is, is my job being taken away from other people since I can't go back to Singapore to work? You know, uh, what about my children, my children's education? And there is a lot of questions going on on our head, you know? There are a lot of questions, yeah? So what, what is life? And, and towards the end, we come to what is life? You know, what better way to look at life than the one that creates and gives life to us. Amen? Amen? So, let's look back to the book of Genesis. Am I fast? Okay. Alright. So, in Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And I love this verse, you know, once a pastor was, uh, was actually teaching us on this word and, and it really set my eyes open to see the tree of life, to see how God actually uh, works and interprets the Bible here. Yeah? So in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now this is the very first sentence, first verse of the entire Bible. You know, it's like, um, it is like you, when you go to the library, you begin to open up the cover of the book, and you begin to read, you know, and sometimes the first sentence and, 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 the, and the first part that you read, it is very, very important, it's going to capture your heart. So likewise, God is calling you today, and in this verse, it's actually speaking that God is proclaiming His
Andrew Everalize. A bit of technical fault here, so uh, to bear with us here. Yeah? <laughs> Are we there? Speak. All right. Can you can can you guys hear us? If you guys can hear us, just give us a thumbs up. All right. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Oh my goodness! Am I going to repeat it again? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now I've got some, okay. Okay, now it's good? Now it's good. Alright, let me go back. <laughs> you mean from just now? Okay, just give you a briefing. Okay, in the beginning, just give you a briefing. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I have just said earlier on, God created the heavens and the earth and God is calling you. God is calling you, the reader who denies him the reader who did not know him initially and God is calling you to come and to explore with him to come to go on this journey with him let him be your God and you be his creation and you be his people Amen So, as I was saying in this uh, drawing to God, God is calling you and I was saying about this Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and the earth was without form and void and the darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. You know those days I used to think that the spirit of God is only up in the heaven and we cannot reach it. You know? But it says here, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Right here on this earth, the whole earth is filled with the presence of God. The whole earth is being filled with the spirit of God. There is no alley, no street, no corner that is not filled with the spirit of God. God is with us. Amen. Especially during this time, during this, this time. You know, many of us have this feeling of fear, you know. I would like to share a testimony since we come to this topic, you know. I was, uh, it was a day before movement control order or lockdown happened. So a lot of people are going to the malls to get their uh, daily necessities and stuff like that. And everyone was hoarding the goods and everyone was like wearing the mask. So while I was in this paradigm mall, which is like five minutes away from my place, I tell you, by the time I get to the Mr. DIY store, oh my goodness, I feel like a headache, you know, it's like a panic attack. Fear just gripped my heart, you know, and I could feel like I, I'm getting dizzy, I can't walk properly and everything around me seems to be floating. And I was telling my boss, hey, I'm going to go down to the cafe and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to wait for you guys there. So, uh, true enough, when I sought myself out, you know, had a cup of coffee, coffee does works for months. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I, and then I began to, I began to relax myself and, and my boss was like, okay, are you alright? Are you alright? <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> okay. And then, and then I began to tell myself that God is with us. You know, God's protection is upon us. We are His children. We live under the shadow of the Almighty God. And as I began to lean on to the tree of life, and I and I and as I began to lean on to His word, fear left. You know, and I am able. And then after that, having the coffee, I am able to go and shop again. Continue on my shopping. Yeah. So I want to like to say to you guys, especially those who are away from their family members, or perhaps you are alone right now. You know, with uh, not having your spouse with you. You know, and I would like to say that God is with you. Do not fear. Yeah, I know who you are. You call me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So do not fear. God is with you. Okay. So in Zephaniah, uh, God is with us. Yes. In Zephaniah chapter three verse seventeen, it says, "The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness." He will quiet you by his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. Amen. And Matthew chapter 1 verse 33, it begins to say, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means, God everybody, God. which means, God Emmanuel, God. which means, God with us. Correct. God is with us. <laughs> well, the children's church teachers are all coming up. Okay, so indeed God is with us, yeah. So do not fear, but always lean on to Him. Amen. 
lean on to him. And then I'm, I'm going to share on this as well. And then in verse 3, we get God. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Remember that Pastor Edwin has always been preaching about this as well. His word, what is his word to us? His word is authority and reality. You know, for the past two years, even in Kids Church, you know, even in our youth, you know, we began to say and say and say again, again and again, till it gets into our spirit, into our innermost being. His word is authority and reality. Amen? So, therefore, his word will never return to us Sorry, in Isaiah 55 verse 11. So is my mouth that goes up from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Amen. Amen. Whatever God's promised to you, you know, whatever God has spoken to you, you know, God will make sure and God will ensure you that, that, that He's going to make it happen, you know, because it is His word and His, His word is authority and reality and it's going to come to pass yeah and it's going to go forth and and go and uh go forth and begin to uh purpose for what for which he sent uh god sent it to amen. amen so god's word bring forth life amen 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 god's word bring forth life amen so god created everything and all creations we can see that all creations all creations around us, the tree, the plants, the sky, the animals, even the people that live in the same house with you. Sometimes you feel like, are you very bad, you know, very irritated already, right? But they are still God's creation because life flows through them. Amen. So all creations that we see all points to Him. You know, and life is just all around us and God wants you, wants you to see that this is is evidence of God. This is His creation. We are His creation. God is God and we are His creation. God is God. Creation is creation. Amen? So, even, even in the way that we pray sometimes, yeah, in the way that we pray sometimes, you know, we, 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 we pray that, I am God, you know, I want this, I want this, let this happen, let this happen, let this happen, happen, happen. But when it comes to a time of prayer, I believe that God is God. God is the Lord. We are not the master. So we wait on Him and let Him speak. And when He speaks to us, and then we begin to bring that thing that He promised us to us in prayer. Amen. And so that His will, His plans can be established right here on this earth. Amen. Okay. Now, God said, yeah, God said, so the purpose of creation is to establish his kingdom on earth and not only in heaven. Like what I say, you know, during when we, when we pray, you know, his will, his way. And we come to the place that God, I commit to you all. God, you know, at the right condition, at the right heart, with the right motives, you know, and not my way, but your way. What you want, let it be done. You know, and sometimes we, we we need to be a little bit more flexible. We need to we need to sometimes God will still uh God is telling you into this area and sometimes our mind is too rigid, too rigid in in, 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 in thinking that this is the way that God will work. You know, sometimes God God can work work in ways that is beyond what we can think. Amen. So so let's wait on him. Amen. So my point from there is God said, yeah? so whatever God said is important because whatever God said, His authority and reality, and we as His creation, we just need to simply obey Him. Amen. Okay, and then in verse, anyone have 10 more minutes? Okay, so, um, God is in us. Now in Genesis chapter 1, after God created, you know, all the rest of the creation that God created man, you know. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. It is in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Then we begin to see. And the Lord God formed man 
of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life and man became a living soul. One more time. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. So man is being formed from the dust of the ground. Sometimes the dust is so little that you can't even see with your natural eyes. You know, it's just so tiny and so little you just can't see it. Yeah. So, um, so what is man? Man is made of dust. You know, man is nothing. You know, and yet God still loves us so much. You know, the main point is um, not just to be humble. Humble is yes. Humble before God is yes. But I also believe that um, uh, it points us that even though we are just made of dust, we are merely nothing, and yet God still loved us so much that He gave His only begotten Son for us and provide a way of salvation for us, eternal life for us. John chapter 3 verse 16. Amen. So God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. So, and, uh, and breathe into His nostril the breath of life and God began to breathe. You know, into Adam. Adam became a living being. You know, last week Pastor Edwin was saying that exactly like that as well. And he, he was saying that, you know, without the breath of God, we are just mere clay. We are just clay and we are not a living thing. We are not a living being. But when the breath of uh, God begins to breathe the breath of life in us, man became a living being. Amen. And that's why we as men, like animals, they have soul, but we as men, we have soul and spirit, and therefore we can worship Him, Amen. spirit to spirit. Amen. So, so, um, so, what do you want to say? <laughs> so, God breathed into Him the breath of life. And how do you know that that a person is still alive? You know, because blood still flows through them, right? The blood, the fresh blood still flows to them. And blood, wow, it talks a lot, you know, it talks, of, it talks that, that uh, the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, when God sees us, He sees the blood of Jesus Christ on us. You know, the, the sacrificial lamb, and, and He sees that all our sins are being cleansed because Jesus paid the price on Calvary. Jesus made a way for us to come before Him. Amen. And that is the new life, the new, to have the newest of life. Amen. It's all about God. Now, what I want to say from here is all about God. You know, it's all about God. God is around us. God is with us, in us. You know, and and, and God is just everywhere in our lives. And sometimes, you know, we can't see it when we live in our own nature. We can't see it, but now we can because the new light in us helps us to see God more clearly than ever before. So, I'm going to end with this, okay? Just give me a minute. I'm going very fast. Okay? Just give me a minute. And now, what do we do with... Uh, what? Something is wrong. Um, okay. Just give me a minute. And now, what do we do right now, right? After all this things, you know? So... I would like to encourage you guys to always cling on the word of God. Always do and obey and simply obey what God has spoken to us. Though at times we may not fully understand or fully comprehend the situation. Now move forward. So, here, pick your fruit. Pick your fruit correctly. Remember Eve, she picked the fruit, she picked the wrong fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Because Eve, her eyes was on the fruit. Her eyes were no longer on God. Her eyes were on the fruit. Likewise for us, you know, God has, uh, there's a, uh, the tree of life will give us life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil will give death, will bring forth death. Yeah? The tree of life is what God said and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is what the serpent said. So I want to encourage you guys to just act upon what God said not what we think is good for us, but act upon what God said, act upon His word, His word and His word alone. So lean on, lean on Christ, lean on the word of God, that is the tree of life, and, 
and sometimes initially, you know, you feel like someone someone looks at me. Sometimes I feel like there is two voices in me. You know, it's quite natural sometimes when you hear two voices in you because one will tell you to follow follow the word, and the other will tell you what the world will think. You know, so there is always a struggle within us, a clashes within us. Yeah. So, but as you continue, as you continue to lean on the tree of life, to lean on God, you know, it will become easier and easier as the day goes past. Yeah. So, um, so, so especially at this time, what you sow is very important. What you sow is gonna be what you reap. Okay. Whatever you reap, whatever you sow. Okay. What you sow is gonna be what you. Reap. If you sow into your children's life, you know, you build friendship, you build relationship. You Advice, you know, you take time, you 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 have a nice chat, have a nice meal with your children, you know, and your children in return is going to respect you. Your children in return is going to uh, love to come back home, love to be with you, to hang out with you, even as a parent, you know. And uh, even if you sow, when you sow into your marriages, ah, you know, you have less headache. Your wife wouldn't like so much, okay. <laughs> So into your marriages, yeah. Appreciate your wife, appreciate your husband. You know, each other is not just a one party thing. You know, two hands to clap, yeah. So you gotta sow, sow into it, yeah. Sow into your work, in your in your skills, in your businesses, in your education, whatever it is, and you're gonna see that you know you're gonna reap. And likewise, and so when um, so I'm gonna just pass this time to Pastor Erin, and I'm I'm also gonna close it, okay. When we are placed in a position where we say, Amen. So all those things, yeah. So just, just know that. Um, let me go slow a bit. <laughs> so just, just know that. Let's hold on to God at this time. Hold on, and you will see Him coming through for you. You know, I was so perplexed that that, that day before the MCO, God actually spoke to me or something, um, and I thought that I maybe I need to do it. And, and I said, God, but I do not know how with this pandemic thing and stuff like that. I really do not know how. Honest, truthful answer. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. And just a few days ago, this lady came, uh, not came, she messaged me, huh? no, no meeting face to face, okay? So she messaged me and she was telling me that, you know, uh, yeah, God, uh, God, uh, uh, she, she placed, uh, she felt that uh, she, she need to pass me her materials and stuff like that and everything that, that is with it and I was like truly amazed how God works. Amen. So uh, let's cling on to him and sow so into 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 uh, you reap whatever you sow and let's cling on to him. Cling on to the tree of life, cling on to him, hold on and God will see us true. Amen. Amen. So I'm gonna close with this. I'm just gonna close with this, huh? Even for all the mothers and um, Pastor Abby was so comfortable to pray for all the mothers. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just thank you. We just thank you. Lord, we pray, oh God, Lord, Lord, that you will cause us to be so conscious of you. That indeed you are all around us. That you are with us. That you are for us, you know. And, and, and I pray, oh God, Lord, Lord, that you will help us to see and help us to follow you. Help us to walk with you. Let the tree of life in us begin to grow and grow and grow. That we will yearn for more and more of you. That we will thirst for more and more of you, oh God. Lord, that, that you will help us, oh God, to be the creation. And help us to let go. Let go of certain things that we cling on or hold on to too tightly. Help us to let it go and help us to know that indeed you are in control of it all. Amen. So Lord, we just want to give you all the praise and all the glory. Amen. So have your work in each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to pass this time to Pastor Edwin. Is it going to? Yeah. Okay. We're going to pray for all the moms. Okay. Pastor Caroline, she, she's the senior. Uh, she's the... In Chinese, we call her the Simu, okay? The pastor's mother, right? You know that? Ibu, Ibu pastor, okay? You know, so uh, as I lay hands on her, we're going to pray. Uh, as I pray, I pray for uh, for her and through her to all the moms that are watching us online today and on uh, later times ahead, okay? 
Amen. So I want you to do one thing, moms. If you're watching us, I want you to uh, put your finger on the screen. Okay, stretch your hands to the screen and I just receive this prayer of blessing over moms. Huh? Father God, I just I just stop when you're hearing me. I tell you what, my, when I got married to my wife, how many times I, I've been pierced by earrings that are on the floor? <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. Ouch! You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, right? Okay, let's just pray. Father God, I lift up uh, my, my wife. Can I lie into your hands? Lord, I lift up all the mothers, oh God, that are watching us online too. And all that will be watching in the days, in the weeks, months, or years to come. Father God, I just thank you, Lord. Your scripture says, Father, that they are highly favored. They are loved by God. God, they are blessed because the husbands and the children call her blessed. Lord, we just thank you, O oh God. Lord, and we are, are blessed because we have we, uh, wives and mothers that fear you. Wives and mothers that, that know the voice of God, just like how Pastor Caroline today has preached. God, we need to hear, we need to know the voice of God, His authority and reality. And what a blessed God family we are, oh God, to have mothers, to have wives that know the voice of God, Lord. God, and then seek, oh God, to, to put their own self aside to, so that they can walk with you, oh God. And knowing, oh God, that you are in control of every uh, family, know, knowing, oh God, you are the desire of every wife, every mother, every woman. God, even the, even the men too. Father, we know that families are in the right path. We know that families are in your will, O oh God. Father God, they that fear you, O oh God, they have the wisdom of God. And so we thank you, God, for our moms, for our wives. God, I pray and, and, and bless them, O oh God, that your hand, your, 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 your shower of blessings will be upon them, O oh God. And refresh each and every one of them. For those that are struggling by themselves or living life to themselves, uh, with themselves, God, I say to them, Hallelujah, that you are not striving, you are not a failure. I say to all single mothers that you are thriving Amen. in the kingdom of God. You Amen. are thriving in the will of God. Hallelujah. You Amen. are overcoming. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Bible says, Oh God, that God is the defender of widows. He's the father to the fatherless. You are never alone. Amen. Hallelujah. And for those that have uh, husbands, those that, that are uh, 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 family, Father God, I pray that we will learn to cherish each other more. We will learn to uh, uh, honor each other more in front of our children, oh God, and with our children too. Lord, bless families, oh God, this day, in this Mother's Day. We just thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless them, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Okay, my wife is sweating. Okay. Yeah, amen. That was a good word. Amen. A good word to remind us, you know, that, that God has been in control. He has ever, he's, has always been in control right from the beginning of creation and, and still is in control. This is His world. I like the part, the last part where, where there was a picture, pick the right fruit. Amen. Pick the right fruit. Amen. Don't, never be hasty in choosing the directions of life. Never be too hasty in making decisions, whether big or small. The smallest decisions can harm us in the future. The biggest decisions can destroy lives and generations. But we must be careful, must fear God, must learn to walk with God, learn to honor God, and learn to, learn to, learn to laugh. Learn to laugh and rejoice. The Bible says rejoice and again we say rejoice. Learn to laugh. Laugh at yourself. Amen. Don't laugh at other people's expense. Amen. The Bible says in, in, uh, that love covers a multitude of sins. Amen. I know people that have used this words to cover people's sins. That is not the way it works. Love covers a multitude of sins. Even though people may have weaknesses, so do I. Even though other people may have uh, trouble in their life, so do I. I'm not called to judge. We are never called to judge. We are called to love. We are called to love in spite of. Amen. And mothers are very good with that. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so, you know, we are coming to a close. Alright, I just uh, like to thank everybody that has supported us in these two months coming online. 
Amen. And watching us from all over. Amen. We love you guys. You are you are an important part of, of uh, the, the, the fruitfulness and success of Word of Life. Okay. Amen. Especially in this time. Amen. Family makes ministry worthwhile. Amen. Hallelujah. Family makes ministry worthwhile. Family gives ministry a meaning and a purpose. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we pray that, that, our, that Word of Life will continue to become a vibrant church. Amen. Hallelujah. In Johor Bahru, in Sri Lanka, in Delaware, we will become a, a vibrant church for the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have any prayer requests, please type it down in the comment section. If you have a testimony, type it down in the comment section as well. We'd love to read it after we end. And we will pray along as we after we end. And as usual, if you are watching this on YouTube, okay, continue to like and subscribe and share the post. Amen. Hallelujah. And don't forget to smash the notification button in YouTube so that you will be notified whenever there are new content. Right now, I want to do one thing before we end. I want to lead those of you that are watching us online in prayer. Especially those of you that do not know, have not come, have not, do not have a relationship with Jesus. Alright? I want to pray for you. Or you have been far away from Jesus, from God. But you want to come back to Jesus and to have that relationship reinstated. Amen? You know when you play games, right? Internet games or online games. You know there's always this game. Either you end or you resume or you go back to the main menu. Right? I love the, the, the with, with Jesus, the, the, the option to resume will never be taken away from you. Amen? The option to begin also will never be taken away from you until He comes back. Amen? So this moment, I'd like to leave you in prayer because it will, it will not just be you guys will be watching today. You know, we will be the, the people that will be watching in the days, in the months, in the years to come. Alright? So I'd love to lead you in prayer. You can pray along with me. Alright? Because the Bible says when we confess Jesus as our Lord and believe in Him as our Savior and that He was raised from the dead, we are saved. We are born again. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you just as I am. Father, I acknowledge, Father, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. That I'm a sinner. That I cannot save myself. That I cannot save myself. Even though I've been trying. Even though I've been trying to satisfy, to satisfy the deepest desires. Desire in my heart, in my heart, through various means, through various means. But I know that they have never satisfied. But I know they have never satisfied. They are not the, the, the waters that quenches the thirst. They are not the water that quenches the thirst. Jesus, Jesus, thank you for taking my sins. Thank you for taking my sins. For taking my old self. For taking my old self. For taking my old nature on the cross. For taking my old nature on the cross. That together with you, we, I was crucified. That together with you I was crucified. And together with you we were buried in the tomb in the grave. And together with you we were buried in the tomb. And Jesus, when you rose again from the dead. And Jesus, when you rose again from the dead. So did I rose again from the dead. So did I rise again from the dead. Rise from the dead. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I thank for you. new life. For new life. I thank you for the tree of life in me. I thank you for the tree of life in me. Now have your way in my life. Now have your way in my life. Bring forth the trees of the, the knowledge, the tree of the fruits of the tree of life. Bring forth the tree of life. The fruits of the tree of life. The fruits of the tree of that life. That are worthy of your kingdom. And are worthy of your kingdom. In and through my life. In and through my life. We just thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. From to today onwards. From today onwards. I'm born again. I'm born again. Jesus, you are my savior. Jesus, you are my savior. I will choose nobody else but you. I will choose nobody else. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I salute you. If you have prayed that, and if you have made a decision for Christ, I would like you to email us at my word of life church. Uh, no, sorry, my word of life at gmail.com. It's my word of life at gmail.com. Amen. And let's close in prayer. Father, bless all of us as we go away. Grant us journey mercy. Keep us safe. We continue to, to speak to the COVID all over the world Amen. to be gone in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Be gone and to never return yes. in Jesus' name. For those that are sick in the hospitals to be healed 
and discharge from all over the world in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And for those that are in the, in the houses, locked down all the world, be free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Rise up to praise God. Hallelujah. That God will free. Hallelujah. Let us from every prison of our homes. We just thank you, Lord. Grant the journey mercy be with us in the blood of Christ over us. Now to him who is able to keep us from falling, I surrender all of us into your hands, Father. We just thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Come on. Give God a clap of praise. That's the Mother's Day. That's the Mother's Day. Okay. And don't forget to like, subscribe, Be and check. smash the notification button if you are on YouTube. Amen. And if you are on Facebook, share the broadcast. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let more and more people come to hear the gospel right now. We just thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, everybody come. Come, let's say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Yes, God bless all of you guys too. All right. Yeah.